Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm supposed to take a day off today, but, you know, a lot of crazy market shenanigans going on. Uh, more Andre Cronje Fudsters just abandoning ship across pretty much all Tomb Forks. But, you know, Phantom-based Tomb Forks are especially getting hit hard. Uh, yeah, but anyway, even Rare and Based are getting hit, like, with, like, a compl like multiple sledgehammers, so. Anyway, but they're in good spirits. I checked the Rare Discord. I actually found out that Brando himself apparently is in the, that Discord. So, okay, interesting. Hey, it works for me. I mean, he's going to help us, you know. Hey, well, you know, better for all of us. So, anyway, I'm definitely going to be DCAing in. Obviously, you know, if you've been taking profits every day, like I've been telling you, Today is actually, yeah, it kind of somewhat sucks, but, you know, you're going to be able to buy good projects that you've been eyeing for, like, cheap, right? In my case, it's mostly Tomb Forks. So, but anyway, so that's that real quick. You know, I still want to relax. Can you see the price? Yeah, you can barely see it because my camera, yeah. So, I did a video on Caesar Finance, I think, last week or so. And this thing has absolutely gone insane. It's gone berserk. This is like... This definitely is one of my better plays, and thank God, because I, I mean, this is nice and personal for me, because I got, I, I got screwed on Metaverse Pro, as I've been telling you, right? I'm down like $60,000, you know, I didn't take the loss yet, but I will if I sell my congruent tokens, which I'm obviously not going to do. I'm going to ride it out. And now that they're partnering with Curve Finance, and they got mainstream coverage, I already did the video on it, yeah, I'm going to get my money back, so it's gonna take time that's the problem so so uh then i eventually learned about titano finance and it was too late and then it just i mean look at titano now it's got like a whitelist by ledger nano right the hardware wallet guys it's it, it's insane right so in fact if i wanted to i could just go into like my one of my ledger nanos install titano on it and, <laughs> and then secure my coins that way all right so it, it's insane it's insane so anyway, Caesar Finance is definitely just going berserk. It's going up like you wouldn't believe. It's at sub 44 cents now, right? Uh, you know, it's actually gone up 10% since I want to say about an hour ago, right? There's just no stopping this thing. So what's great about it is, so I did more research into it, so I'm even more confident in it now. There's still a possible risk that these guys are the palace devs. So that's something I'm still keeping an eye on, and the moment I see something like a flasher sale, just know that the further I'm going to do is just dump everything. I'm not, and I'm going to abandon the project. So it's like, just please don't be the palace devs. But with that being said, it's looking pretty good. So let's give you the rundown, right? So why is this thing spiraling out of control? So as you already know, the markets are completely spurging out of control, right? You know, FUD, 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 fear, 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 dump everything, dump everything. People are just fucking stupid, right? You know, because people just don't know how to invest. So, because they just look at prices all day and they think it's the end of the world. That's not how it works, right? We know, because especially now that we have Greg Manorino's teachings, we actually know what's really going on. So, right now we've got multiple problems, right? You got Russia, Ukraine, FUD, that's tanking markets down, all on purpose, of course. You got oil and gas restrictions now coming into play, right? Because Europe and America are pretending to fight Russia. But what they actually are doing is they're deliberately spiking crude oil and gas prices. That's why crude oil, if you refresh this, is on its way to $130. Yeah, it's $128.54. <clears throat> Greg Manorino, I just watched his video, to say crude oil is going to $150, $175, and he's probably going to have to revise it higher. And then they have to do that because inflation's actually out of control due to central banking printing, right? As we actually know over here. So what does that mean? Well, uh, they need a scapegoat, right? Because they tried scapegoating Asian people, Chinese people, and that caused problems. They're trying to scapegoat Russia right now. That's doing, that's playing out pretty much as they want, but that's not going to last forever because how long can you be in a war, right? So that will drag itself out. And then and then at that point, inflation will be really crazy. So they'll just say crude oil is really high. That's why inflation is very high, right? So again, you need to keep the crisis to crisis uh, scam going, right? The scapegoat to scapegoat to scapegoat. Because for every crisis, there must be a bad guy, a bad girl, right? So, you know, you know, I've been on the receiving end. Well, 
I haven't actually, but I could be because I'm Asian. So, you know, I know how the scapegoat bullshit works, right? And so it is with the Russians and the Chinese again and then blah, blah, blah. It'll, it'll just never end. So, Musk, Elon Musk asked his judge to block SEC subpoena over tweets. Uh, yeah. See, they're even going after Elon Musk because he's kind of like trying to be rational about things. I'm actually curious. What is the fear and greed index? It's surprisingly reasonable at 21. I thought it would be like 10. All right. So, you know, you got your bonds, right? What's it? And the dollar index is actually down, surprisingly, for once. So you got your bonds. So pretty much everything's looking pretty normal, right? So it's just, you know, normal market volatility. So why did I go in all that? I mean, you should already know why, but basically in order to find out what's happening in crypto, I have to actually find out what's happening in, you know, overall, right? Because what happens overall ultimately affects crypto. And I also forgot to mention, because there's so much going on, that cryptos are also actively being manipulated right now as we speak by Wall Street, all right? I'll just give you a quick example. For example, crypto is going down. So did you know that Wall Street makes a shit ton of money when that happens? You know how? They buy up a bunch of crypto for cheap, right? And they'll probably and then they'll call it and then JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, and all these fucking asshole piece of shit banks and central banks. They all call each other up and say, hey, we got our bags loaded. Let's start buying some call options. All right? So they buy the call options first. Then they all go, okay, you ready? And then they start buying up everything. Why do you think everything's going up and down at the same time? All right? So it's the same people pumping and dumping crypto. So every, so the big banks, the central banks, and other rich institutions like Goldman Sachs, etc., right? They have their call options, so they make money when crypto goes up. They have the actual crypto itself because they're all buying it just now, right? So they then dump their options make profit and then they go hey you ready to dump this shit he's like yeah right so they then buy put options where they make a lot of money off of puts right so that means crypto has to go down for them to profit well guess what they just bought a bunch of crypto at a lower price right so what do you think they're gonna do so they all dump their crypto no first first they buy the put options, then they dump all their crypto, all coordinated, and then they sell off the options when they're ready to pump, buy and pump and dump again. And they keep doing that over and over again. That's why these fucking F word pieces of shit at the SEC only approves Bitcoin futures and derivatives, not the actual commodity itself, because they can't because the big banks cannot allow you and me to actually go in the open market, the new middle class. To actually buy the crypto so they that so that we can counteract this fucking scam. Alright? Actually I didn't realize how pissed off I'm actually getting off of this. Now I don't know why Greg's always in a bad mood. And it's just so evil. It's just so evil. So So anyway, that's pretty much what's happening. And the only projects that actually seem to be highly resistant to this overall like crazy FUD and manipulation are Titano Forks. Right, Caesar and Titano are like the two projects that have weathered everything, and even and in Caesar and even Titano's case actually went up in price on some days. <laughs> so you know, because Poseidon is actually supposed to go up too, but it's down because they're on Phantom. Like Phantom is just completely, uh, you know, screwed, right? Because Andre Kranje really fucked us, right? So, you know, you know, I, I, I'm estimating there's like several billion with a B do dollars worth of like pr uh, money that's being liquidated. So whenever that is finished, then we should see stability finally in Phantom. Because Phantom itself fundamentally, you know, it's still decent, right? It's not the best, obviously, and it's not even great, but it's not bad, right? It's just that... You know, like I've been saying, like it's the character of the people and the leadership, right? I mean, like the people at the top, that is. The community is nice, but again, Phantom is just uh, too hyper-centralized, right? And now you're seeing the effects of that, all right? And, and now people are actually realizing, hey, we can't have Phantom run on like these cult personality types. Look what's happening to us. So I'm glad that hopefully, uh, you know, Phantom will finally get their shit together. People will start actually, you know, their leadership will be like, yeah, I think we should start, you know, with taking a more liberal attitude, I guess that's the word, you know, towards Phantom and, like, just not be so, you know, closed and, like, uh, 
centralized and greedy, I want to say, I guess, because that's what it is. So anyway, I am up really big with Caesar, and I've been constantly DCAing it every single day, right? And now, and I've been shifting some positions into Caesar, like abandoning some Tomb 4 projects. And I'm actually going to talk about in the next Tomb 4 project that I cover, which will be uh, Ninja Finance, no, Ninja Money.io. Because I'm actually, because I put out a tweet saying that I will now only be buying Tomb Forks generally uh, with the smart APR system that I basically developed, all right? So now I'm constantly improving, because like I said, I constantly learn and try new things and figure things out, so. There's a lot going on, right? I mean, these videos tend to be a little longer because I don't want to just give you the project. I want you to give you the overall picture, right? So that when, you know, bad shit happens, like what's going on now, especially with Tomb Forks, you'll actually know why it's happening, right? So, you know, so I'm definitely going to be, well, right now I'm on Yield Wolf, obviously, so I'm constantly DCAing in. But when I take profit, that's when I, that's really when I make my money. Because not only do I get cash, like actual profit, I then redeploy that money immediately into a project of my choice, right? Um, so in Phantom, I'm trying to get $1,000 in all my favorite projects. So that basically if I have like seven projects, you know, and they're all worth $1,000, that's seven projects throwing me, you know, more pro daily profit every single day. And these are what I hope are good projects, right? Based on all the analysis that I've done. So... So yeah, but it's looking pretty good. Aris Finance will be launching in our Titano Fork. Sphere Finance is launching next Monday, March 14th, right? There doesn't seem to be any delays. So I got a big bag of that through the whitelist. You know, I don't have it. I don't have much in Titano, right? I mean, I basically liquidated that when I had to, you know, go into Tomb Forks. So that was the sacrifice I made. I would definitely like to buy more Titano, but I, I, I think at this point, I, I think I can consider it kind of too late for me. But it's not too late for me to get into Caesar, which is why I'm so thrilled because, oh, look at that. It's going up to 44, sub 44, it's like going up to 40, sub 45 cents. This thing is just going out of control to the upside, right? Everything else is down. So, yeah, but definitely tonight when I take profit, I am definitely buying more rare and based, uh, you know, LP and putting on Yield Wolf. That thing is so... That thing is like down like 80, 90 percent. It literally makes zero sense. It's got the, it's got, it's got almost the same kind of smart APR system as Code Seven Finance. Yet Code Seven Finance, actually, is the same price I bought at yesterday. So I'm like, like, how does that make sense? It's like people are just so stupid in crypto when it comes. Like, it's, it's like what Greg Manuel was talking about in his video just that he just had today. You know, and yeah, we just got the rebase reward. Very nice. So it's like, you know, it's, you got just normal people that just have regular jobs and then you think, oh, it, it, it's, it's so, it's, I mean, I get it. They just don't know any better, but it does get a little annoying when like you just have to, I mean, in Greg's case, he's got 204,000 subscribers or how many people does he have? I know this is an old video. I just want to look at his YouTube subscriber count. Okay, everybody, it's me. Yeah, it's 205,000, so he's been growing pretty well, too. But, oh, whatever. I mean, you got him, you got me, uh, you got Dow King. Actually, how is, I don't know how Dow King's been doing, because he was really big in a piggy and 2 3 And I'm kind of annoyed that right after I did the video on two shares and three shares being massively undervalued, right? Because I'm no longer in 2 and 3 -0. At this point, I question the competency of the entire project and team. All right? So, but I have a policy, do not make FUD videos, right? Like, specifically titled, like, this is really bad, blah, blah, blah. So, it's like, it, it's kind of frustrating. It's kind of frustrating. But, again, that's why I only had a limited amount of money in there. And I tell people, oh, no matter what, always put a limited amount of money and then spread your risk out to other projects. There's a reason why you always see me covering a bunch of different tomb forks and other projects that seem good, that I personally prefer, right? That's the exact reason why, because you never know when a quote unquote safe project becomes two ohm and three ohm, and then you just get completely fucked, right? So, and Titano forks are kind of like the same way too. So, you know, I'm kind of hoping though that, you know, but the Caesar, Eris, 
with the exception of Caesar, right? I know Titano is safe, right? And proven. They are the industry. They, they are the alpha male dog, right? Where they go, we all go, right? In, in the Titano fork field. Eris and Sphere Finance, I know, are legit because their devs are in our, in the Elite Discord, right? So I already know it's it's good. And of course, if they really run into problems, they DM me and we talk about tokenomics so that we don't fuck up the project, right? Because I already know what what works and what does not, right? So what's another one? Oh yeah, and then we know about Poseidon Black, right? Same thing. They actually run the Elite Discord, so I know that's not going to be a scam. All right so we got that so with caesar oh i didn't even mention the things right i forgot i'll just go through it real quick all right so with caesar i checked the discord right because now i did a deeper dive they got certic and solidity uh audit in progress so they paid the money they also said we have to move money from the rfb treasury to the real treasure the real treasury again i don't know why there's two of them they all seem the same same to me but whatever all right, and they said it's to pay the team for the audits, so and they had the transaction hash. I was like, okay, uh, they're going cross chain, right? That's their plan. Should be pretty easy, especially if you're gonna create like wrapped Caesar coins, I guess. Uh, so they're going cross chain. They have six mods, and they apparently have at least three devs on their team. So right off the bat, they're not a small one man team because that's another thing too. I don't want small one man teams anymore. That's actually why I'm not going to cover certain tomb ports. So they only have a one man team. There might be an exception for Ninja Money.io. So, but you know, they have they technically have the smart APR system. So in fact, you could just take a look real quick. Ninja Money.io. Let me make sure I get the right URL because I'm just typing it straight up. Uh, so hold on a sec guys let me make sure i get the right one yeah this looks correct okay uh yeah so they're paid to binance coin and they're also getting hit too because obviously you know they're on phantom so just everyone's getting cucked on phantom but they're doing pretty well and they've they've actually just locked their liquidity for another six months as of today because it expired today and it's on their twitter if you, or in discord if you want to look uh, okay, so I need to connect MetaMask to this clown, Papega Show. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, so they have these smart APR systems. Let me check them one more time. 44. So this is the base token pair, 23.36%. This is the share. Yeah, so see, they got the smart APR. So that's why I'm only. And in fact, the Bore Room actually prints even less than. The share LP. That's exactly what I want. So I haven't really been looking at the token inflation here too, but oh yeah, so it's actually very low. Look, there's only 15, 14 tokens being print, uh, out in the circulation, and I think this counts the tokens that are in the farm. I think I don't know. All I know is it's a really small number. So. But yeah, we'll talk about more about this uh, in the ninjamoney.io video, which is the next video. But I'm taking today off, so you can take a look if you guys want. And this was obviously launched stealth. That's another thing too. Caesar was launched stealth. Like stealth launches actually seem to work really freaking well too, right? Because if it doesn't rug pull, then stealth launches are actually the best because it prevents you know super predators, right? Super predator whales, right, from fucking up your project. So. Right, because what did Titan ultimately have to do, right? They had to ban that whale that was constantly like dumping on Titano and was able to constantly keep doing that. Because he bought at the beginning a like, crap load and then kabam, you know, and then you know that and then, you know all the problems that it caused. So that's why stealth launches are really good, right? If you if you're willing to take the risk that it is a, a rug pull kind of thing. At this point, Caesar Technically, you should still think that this could be a rug pull Caesar, but I think it's the probability is like very low. I'd say at most one two percent chance, and it'll get lower over time, right? Because if this project's still here in a month, which it should be, and they are they have a and everybody has seen all their treasury and transactions, and this and on top of this project it makes a lot of money, right? Like the market cap right now is probably like two point one million, right? It's not showing. I there's nothing showing up here because. Probably because I have no money in, obviously, in this dummy account. So, 
Yeah, look, it's sub 40, 45, 7 cents. It's going, it's about to hit sub 46 cents. Like, in fact, I could probably just leave this recording on for like the next 12 hours and you'll just see this price just go straight to the moon. But yeah, this thing is basically on its way to becoming the same value as Titano. So you miss Titano, like I did, because I didn't know, I didn't even know it existed until it was way too late. And all my money was being lost in Metaverse Pro, but I didn't sell at the time because I didn't know any better. Well, here's my chance to redeem myself. And I'm going to fucking redeem myself through through Julius Caesar. None other than Julius Caesar himself. The, 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 the emperor of Rome who like took them all on and he was so good at it that they had to assassinate him because it was the only way to stop him. Alright, so look, look. This thing is going straight up. Crypto is going straight down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put like I didn't put all my money into this obviously, but I put in enough. Right? And now I'm not gonna put in any more. I'm not gonna put a single cent into this anymore because it's now at the point of critical mass. So basically, if I like, there's no amount of money that I can put in to actually affect this because it'll just rebase itself and print rewards in like six hours or three hours. So you know, there's there's no point. And that's good. That's exactly what I want. In fact, when was the last time I even had something like that, man? You know, so it's, it's been a while. All right, I've rambled on long enough. Rewatch this video because we went over a lot of really good important stuff, not just Caesar, but everything else. So, you know, I'm, I'm big chilling. I'm going to actually have some Burger King. It's a nice, it's a sunny day out. I think it's a little colder too because yesterday it was like 74 degrees and humid as hell. And I hated it, so... I want to get some air, and I will see you all, I think, tomorrow, but if I just do one video, it'll just be ninjamoney.io, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I just did the Caesar Finance update video, which is this video, so I can delete that from sticky notes, and then there's also xo.finance. Uh, I'm probably going to want to wait another couple days. Though. So I think maybe tomorrow I'll just do ninjamoney.io, because I don't feel like doing any more videos. I wasn't supposed to do anything. I'm supposed to relax. Right, be still and be with God, kind of thing. Because if I don't do that, then everything I do doesn't matter, and then we all get screwed, you know. So I'd rather not have that happen. Like, subscribe, share the video around, help me, help you, and help everyone else, all right? Because bad shit's about is, is coming down the pipeline, all right? You think this? You think the situation is bad now? The globalists are going to go even much more ham. So and yeah, like yeah. I mean, it's like I've been saying, you know, crude oil, and I only get it from Greg Manorino, right? Look, it was, we were right. Crude oil is just surging, and they're going to skate. Well, mark my words. They are already setting up the next crisis, the energy and supply crisis, and they're going to blame that on rising food prices uh, and hyperinflation because crude oil is going up, quote unquote. They're never going to point their finger at the central banks. They're the real cause of all this. See you all tomorrow, uh, I think. Yeah, probably. I'm only going to do one video tomorrow unless something else crazy happens. I'll never, I never get a break.